Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. You must have heard about the common hybrids like the mule, but did you know that there are many more hybrids that you probably don't know about? Often the stuff of ancient legends, these incredible hybrid animals are rarely seen in the wild. Will you come across a liger, wolfin, or guala bear on your next adventure? Whenever you do, you should know that what they look like. So here are 10 animal hybrids you won't believe actually exist. Watch out for number one, as it will blow your mind away. Number 10, the wolfin. When the researchers worked in Kauai, Hawaii, they discovered something strange. A dolphin-like creature appeared often in the sea. These photos indicated that the animal was a hybrid because it exhibits the physical characteristics of two different species. In 2018, one year after the discovery, scientists shot it with darts. The darts were harmless and collected skin samples. DNA analysis showed that the creature's father was a Russian-toothed dolphin and its mother was a melon-headed whale. This wolfin is the first, and it's even known by the scientific name, the Stereo Balvanistis. Although this rare hybrid is likely to be sterile, its birth is not uncommon. The watermelon-headed whale is a dolphin. Technically, they can put babies in many other species of dolphin if they wish. Obviously, this was not the case, but the scarcity of watermelon whales in Hawaii may be related to this. Number 9. The Karma Exactly who authorized the crossbreeding of a camel and a llama to create the first Kama and then named it Kama? Oh right, the Crown Prince of Dubai. Camels weighed six times as much as llamas, so suffice to say that this artificial insemination was the only option for researchers in the United Arab Emirates. They succeeded in 1998, creating an animal that they hoped would have the wool of a llama and the even temperament of a camel. To their disappointment, Karma has proven rather moody and it doesn't really listen to any of the scientists. Maybe because its parents don't even exist. Number 8. The Beef Alarm Everyone American remembers the 70s very vividly. A time of Afro's Nixon and of course, the peak of America's interest in beefalo. English settlers in the American South noticed genetic mixes between the American bison and the domestic cattle as far back as in 1749 but it would be a hundred years until the first intentional hybrids and more than 200 until beefalo entered the mainstream of American culture. That decade, a peak of 6,000 ranches agreed to raise the fertile hybrid. Popularity in beefalo has diminished since, but since the meat also still has its fans. From 2012 to 2014, the American Royal Steak Competition rated a beefalo steak from the Merrill Cattle Co. as the best in the country for the second year in a row. Number 7. The Zebroid Zebroid is a general term for any zebra hybrid, which occurs when a male zebra crosses a female of the equine family. The equine is a family of all horses and horse-like animals. These hybrids have never appeared in the wild and many zebra are born with dwarfism, meaning that they are small as ponies and are always, always infertile. There are many animals belonging to the zebroid group, including Zorse, which is a hybrid of zebra and horse, Zonkey, a hybrid of zebra and donkey, and Zoni, a hybrid of zebra and pony. These famous animals usually have a body of a female animal and stripes of a male zebra. These stripes never cover the entire body and are usually limited to legs and feet. Number 6. The Zebra We will move on from the cattle hybrids in a second, but we must mention the Zebra a cross between a cow and a weissnet. You must be thinking, what's a weissnet? Well, these are European woods bison that once bordered on extinction, but now they're on their way to a comeback thanks to their reintroduction efforts. So basically, Zebron is Europe's answer to beefalo. After World War I, many Europeans thought that Zebron would replace domestic cattle because of their durability and resistance to disease. But scientists didn't breed the first fertile Zebron until 1960, and in 1980s the Polish government discontinued the program because of lack of interest from state-owned farms. A single herd of Zebron remains in the Belswick National Park in Poland. Number 5. Liger A Liger is a hybrid of a male lion and a female tiger, so both parents belong to the genus Panthera, but the species are different. The liger is the largest of all cats and the size of a tiger and a lion combined. They have characteristics of both parents. For example, they like swimming with tigers and have an extreme social behavior like lions. 
Currently, Ligers can be found in captivity because their territory does not overlap. But historically, there are stories about them being born in the wild. Ligers have long been considered infertile, but this theory was rejected in 1953 when a 15-year-old Liger paired with a male lion. The cub survived into adulthood despite its poor health. In the Miami theme park known as Jungle Island, you can see Hercules. Hercules is a large Liger weighing more than 410 kilograms. Hercules is the largest cat in the world and has a Guinness World Record. He is very healthy and is expected to live a long and happy life. Number 4. Monkey in Human Neural Cells People who put human and brain cells in mice say they don't use monkeys, so they justify their work. They admit that it is a moral issue when it comes to putting human cells into an animal that is closely related to humans, like monkeys. They are unwilling to cross that line. Yale University thinks otherwise. In 2007, Yale University placed human neuron cells in five monkeys to observe how they would react. From a medical point of view, the results were very positive. They wanted to see the effects of a cell in a specific disease in monkeys known as Parkinson's disease. All monkeys suffering from this disease could walk, eat and move. Their tremor problems were much less and all problems had no tumors or toxic side effects. However, from a philosophical point of view, the experiment raised some anxiety issues. Human neuron cells survived and migrated to the monkeys' brains, thereby changing the way their brains worked. In this project, they would use an insufficient number of cells so it would not affect their behavior in a major way. Fascinating, isn't it? Number 3. Mule We are sure you have heard about a mule. For those who haven't, a mule is the offspring of a male donkey and a female horse. Horses and donkeys are different species, with a different number of chromosomes. Of the two F1 hybrids between the two species, a mule is easier to obtain than a hinny. The offspring of a male horse and a female donkey. All male mules and most female mules are infertile. The size of the mule depends largely on the breed of the mule's dam. They can be lightweight, medium weight or even when produced from a draft horse mare of moderately heavy weight. An aficionado of the mule claims that they are more patent, hardly and long-lived than horse and they are considered less obscene, faster and more intelligent than donkeys. Isn't every animal more intelligent than a donkey? Number 2. The Grolar Bear This is one of the few weird animal hybrids that happen without the knowledge of humans. A grizzly polar bear hybrid, also known as the Grolar Bear, isn't a rare ursid hybrid that has occurred in both captivity and in the wild. In 2006, the occurrence of this hybrid in nature was confirmed by testing the DNA for, of a strange-looking bear that had been shot near the Sanchez Harbour in the Canadian Arctic. Ursid hybrids, a term that designates any hybrid between two species within the family Ursadia, include several other types of polar bear hybrids. The polar bear hybrids with grizzly bear in the wild have been reported and shot in the past as well. But DNA techniques were not available to verify the bear's ancestries. Doesn't this chubby beast look cute though? We definitely want to pet him. What about you? Number 1. Blood Parrot Chillid Blood Parrot Chillids is a hybrid of chillids, which is a type of rare fish. It was created in Taiwan around 1986 and was produced by crossing Midas chillids with red chillids or red devil chillid. The cycle of creating parrots from this hybrid is controversial in terms of ethics because they have several anatomical deformities such as mouths which are only small vertical openings and can cause some feeding difficulties for the fish. Blood parrot chillids are usually orange but their color can change to red and yellow. Female parrots are usually fertile, while male parrots are usually sterile, but there are cases of successful breeding. Which one of these hybrids would you like to pet? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe buttons, and we shall see you in the next video.